block of the track is watch for debris. Most of them are sitting on the bottom. There's the 66. The 30 of James Busher is also involved in this. The 30 was 12th. The 66 was 14th. Yeah, they've been around each other all day long. See here now. The Stephen Wallace is going to try to make a pass on the inside. Uh, looks like he got a little bit loose and up into the 30. That's got Ron Hornaday gets underneath. There. Boy, our Calmarola slides past. So does Ricky Carmichael there, the 34. Another view. Yeah, you can see the back end of that car step out, and Stephen tried to correct it. Got into left rear of James Bush. Let's go on board with Stephen Wallace. Check up on the throttle, get a little bit loose. Gets in the left rear. Sends Bush for a ride. I guess that's what happened when, you, when you're when you side by side with Stephen Wallace, you end up, end up wrecked. Um, earlier in the day, I kept diving the inside of him, he kept topping me off. Um, told, him to, told my spotter to tell his spotter that if he kept doing it, we might have to use our bumper to get around him, and uh, he would end up wrecked. We never had to, and, and you know, I gave him room to race. Later on, he's inside me for one lap and takes us out. So, and the, the track is starting to widen now. You can run two by two if, if you give each other the space to race side by side. But, uh, you know, he, he doesn't give anybody any space.